Isn't that cool? They fashioned one of those old train cars right there on the track as a uh, as a little coffee shop. Oh no, it's actually a banana themed store and I don't like banana so I may have to shy away from this one. Let's check it out. Why not, right? You know, I figured botanical garden, good camera, why not? Let's do it. Oh, look at this great bench. Thing looks like it's from the 1400s or something. <laughs> Very well may be. Oh, holy cow, look at that. That's awesome. If you're wondering where I'm at and you saw my vlog with our buddy up the alleyway in orange, He's right here, and there I am, on the other side of the wall, the Botanical Garden. And the Botanical Gardens were only two euro to come tour through. I feel like we should take this little path and see where it goes. Plus those tree roots right there look amazing. See what I mean? So more so tomorrow, we're gonna to make our way towards the Lisbon city center. Today we pretty much spent most of our time in Bellum. So you'll see more of, I guess, the differences. And one of the interesting things is that, I, like I mentioned yesterday's vlog, at 1755, they had a bunch of disasters. I mean, they had like three disasters all within a matter of hours, and so it destroyed most of the city. And so what they had to do was they had to rebuild. And the prime minister at the time, was a big fan of starting from scratch and inviting new contemporary styles into the creation of what they were going to change it over to. Some people fought it, so they ended up keeping some of the old, some of the new. It creates a pretty great looking city from what I've seen. Check this one out. Not sure what this is. Oh, that's cool. Looks like it's all closed off, whatever it is, but. <laughs> it's crazy, right here in the middle of the gardens, there's like two or three old houses that are closed off, but. Very cool to see. See, here's the driveway entrances. We should probably go see what's up here, don't you think? Looks like another closed off mansion with another great maze in front of it that needs some pruning. I hear music coming from it, so kind of like to check it out. Wow. Oh wow, they just have like a, it's a hammock hangout. Very cool. Well, let's try it, looks like it's for everybody. This is awesome. So actually, that big mansion was open. It's a palace. And they're having a design expo in here. Well, that one looks like Carmen Miranda's headgear in Copacabana. So what this is, they've got a lot of things here that were designed off of the tiles around town. Various like album covers from Bossa Nova and dresses and various things. Oh wow, look at this. I love that. He's pulled a chunk out of the vase. He's holding it.
Now look at all this tiling. And then look at that dress. So that's pretty cool. That's what they're using this palace for right now is this exhibit, this design exhibit. Well, that was awesome. I had no idea coming into this botanical garden that I was gonna find this hammock colony, this palace with a design art exhibit in it. And as you can tell since I left, now it's pretty hopping over there at the hammocks. Yep, I've always been a trendsetter, what can I say? Well, I've definitely been here longer than I planned to, but that's because I almost fell asleep in those hammocks. I was probably laying in those hammocks for like half an hour and I meant to be only there for like five minutes. <laughs> pretty cool and unassuming place for an art expo, right? Now back into the botanical garden. Look how weird this tree is. There's like separate branches growing up right in the center of it. It's so weird. Oh, let's check this out. Looks like a little Japanese garden of some sort here. This is way cool. Did not know this was down here either. Three different routes we could take here. We could either go this way, up the stairs, or down this path. What do you think? Let's try this. Oh, they all have little connecting mini bridges as well, so I guess I could hop back over and take this one. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to tell you much about this one since I don't, uh, I don't completely comprehend that. Now let's head back here. I love all the foliage. Look at all the color. I mean, heck, that's pretty much why I came in here, right? Well, that's where we just ended from. It says macaw, so that's pretty cool. I love that little part of this. Let's follow this little trail. Looks like it's gonna branch us off into a cave. I'm game, let's do it. Cool, way cool. Looks like a lot of people put their name inside here. And I'm gonna take this trail that goes up here, and this one actually takes us above the cave. To, I'm not sure what this is. Well, for not planning to come to botanical gardens, this was one of the better decisions I've made in my life as far as blowing off course and experimenting. Great decision coming here. Oh, this is too awesome, I had to stop, there's some Little yellow chicks down there, some mixed chicks. That's awesome. I mean, I guess technically those were ducklings, but when I was in school and we hatched little baby chickens, that's exactly what they look like, so I'm an idiot. Old pergola. Little cherub heads all over the place. He's even standing on some. Well, this thing looks like somewhat of a perch. It looks like there are stair steps in there. Let's go check it out.
Real time, baby. Well, buddy, you keep protecting this place because I had a blast here at the Botanical Gardens. Total blast. Now let's go down this alley because since we saw the orange guy from the inside, let's go see what he looks like during the day. My camera was doing a pretty good job picking up this display in the nighttime, but I'd really like to see what it looks like during the day, especially because when we were in there, we saw his head popping over. I didn't realize we were that close to it. I live for these European back alleyways where you just get a look at the different entrances and the different colors of the buildings. That's some of my most fun part about traveling around is just taking these little alleyways and seeing where they end up, seeing what little things people have decorated their houses with. And there he is. He must be made out of paper mache. I didn't go up there and knock on him or anything when I was over there, but... I just popped in my room, did some editing, and now I'm gonna head out and uh, I think I'm gonna grab some dinner. Well, here you go, guys. Here's a little bit of night footage of St. Geronimo's Monastery. And then they have attached to it the, uh, the Maritime Museum, which would have been cool. I would have loved to have gone in there, but I just didn't have the time. It was, uh, they actually have a couple of models of recreations of the boats that Magellan and Vasco da Gama both took so if I have time on this trip I will pop in there because I'd like to see what those boats consisted of or what they even look like because to think of them being on those long journeys I can only imagine I'm kind of heading back over in the directions where the monument to the discoveries is and you can see it right from here that lit up sword isn't that cool very cool statue I love that so to get across the street around here, you actually have to go underground. Well, there's a little bit better footage of the uh, of the sword and the monument because I actually wanted to go eat right over here. So that to be perfect. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. I think let's go here. Well, not a bad seat, not a bad view, right over top of the water. I really want to get some form of pasta tonight. I think. So I decided I want to get a bruschetta appetizer. And I think I want to get uh, this uh, spinach cannelloni right here. Cannelloni a la ricotta, spinach and ricotta cheese. I think I'm going to get that. All right, the bruschetta is here. It's really good. It's different than what I'm used to, but they use chili paste in it, so it's got a little bit of a zing. So the plan is to not have any dessert here, no matter how good it may look, because I want to go back to that pastry shop over where I'm staying. They invented a little cup pastry that everybody talks about. There's a secret recipe that I guess only three people that work there have. They actually mix everything by hand, and then somebody walks it back to a locked room, knocks on the door, and they walk it in there. So this should be quite interesting. I actually had one of those at a different place on the other side of um, Lisbon earlier. And so I'm gonna compare those tonight and see if the originator of it is actually the best. All right, the spinach cannelloni is here. Let's give this a whirl. Oh my God, it's amazing. What a great decision. Wow, that's good. All right, I'd say I sufficiently took care of that. Wouldn't you? Well, the food was amazing, but dude, it took like 15 or 20 minutes just to pay. They have one register. All right, now I'm gonna head over to the uh, pastry shop and try out one of those little $1.50 Euro pastries. And I'm kind of thinking of uh, seeing if maybe I have enough time to catch a football, European football game while I'm here. Like, not tonight, but during the trip. Well, whoopsie. I guess they closed at 11, and it's now 11.30, so guess we won't be having that tonight. But I guess this is probably as good a place as any to call it a night. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow live here from Portugal. Have a great night, and good bye.